This is a land where grass barely grows. In the countryside around Naples, tons of toxic rubbish has been polluting the soil for decades. Local residents Francesco and Rita Romeo say the waste is not only killing the environment, it's also killing them. First, my husband was diagnosed with cancer, then me. My neighbor and six of my colleagues all got cancer too. That's when I started suspecting it had something to do with the nearby landfill. They are among hundreds of residents who say the mountains of toxic waste illegally dumped by the local mafia for decades has led to a dramatic rise in cancer rates in the area. Back in 1997, a former mafia boss admitted that organized crime buried millions of tons of toxic waste coming from Italy and Europe, a lucrative, dirty business. In a statement made recently public, he said about the people living near the landfills, they are all at risk of dying from cancer within 20 years. I don't think they will survive. Sixteen years later, a local oncologist says that, with cancer rates in the area three times higher than the national average, Schiavone's prediction is now coming true. What really hurts is not only discovering the criminals have been poisoning us for 20 years, but discovering that the state knew about it and hasn't warned us. It's not only toxic industrial waste that ruins the local ecosystem and the health of residents around here. All kind of unsorted generic waste ends up in hundreds of illegal landfills like this one, turning this region into Italy's unofficial dumping site. Now residents are calling for the authorities to clean up their act so that these toxic dumps won't pollute the area for generations to come. Claudio Lavanga, Al Jazeera, Giuliano.